U.S. Fish and Wildlife is floating a controversial plan to dump one and a half tons of poison pellets on the Farallon Islands bird sanctuary. KPI X5's John Ramos reports their target is an infestation of mice. The Farallon Islands National Bird Sanctuary is an essential breeding ground for all kinds of seabirds, including the ashy storm petrel. Half of the world's population of that rare bird comes from here. But during the gold rush, sailors accidentally introduced mice to the islands, and now at times the place is teeming with them. You can see the grass move with the mice. That's how many there are out there. So it's plague-like infestation. The department says about six burrowing owls have migrated to the island to eat the mice. And when the mouse population dies down in the winter, the owls feed on the petrel chicks instead. So to discourage the owls, officials are proposing dropping 3,000 pounds of poison pellets on the islands to eradicate the mice. Because that's the only method that's been proven in the field to do 100% eradication. You have to get rid of every single mouse because if you don't, the population comes back. But if that plan seems like a strange way to protect nature, the folks at Wild Care Wildlife Hospital in San Rafael would agree. Their research on poisoned animals helped get the proposed product, Brodificum, banned for public sale in California. For six to eight burrowing owls, it just seems like overkill to dump multiple metric tons of bait containing an incredibly toxic, an incredibly persistent, and an incredibly dangerous toxic poison all over a national marine sanctuary. They say a bird that eats one of the poisoned mice will also be poisoned, including the burrowing owls and western gulls. Fish and Wildlife's own website acknowledges this, but says they plan to capture the owls and haze the gulls away during the three weeks of treatment. What can we do to restore this ecosystem? And that's all we're concerned with. And, and we're not going to do anything that causes more risk than benefit to the ecosystem. It's the wrong thing at the wrong place among the most sensitive ecosystem in North America. In San Rafael, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The plan will be heard at a meeting of the California Coastal Commission on July 10th in San Luis Obispo. The public comment period begins tomorrow.